Hi friends, we have begun to learn about texture in our art. So we learned that real texture is something that you can feel in real life, like maybe the texture of your clothing or the texture of your soft skin. We are now going to practice implied texture, which is creating the look of texture in our art. Now, we talked about some fruits that might have texture, and one fruit that is has some really interesting texture is a pineapple. We've got a lot of spiky textures going on in our pineapple on the skin and on the greenery at the top. So let's begin. So I would suggest everybody grab a pencil first, but I'm going to go right to crayon so that way you can see all my lines really well. So what I suggest you do is we're going to draw a big oval, big, big, big egg shape oval on our paper. We don't want to draw a teeny tiny pineapple. We want it to be big. So a little bit smaller at the top, bigger on the bottom. Just like that. Now, I'm gonna go over that line and press hard and I'm gonna go down, make a spike, down, make a spike, down, make a spike, down, over, up, make a spike, up, make a spike, up, make a spike, and connect. Now on this pineapple, I drew some adorable heart-shaped sunglasses, but this one I'm gonna do a regular face and that's gonna come last. If you wanna do some funny heart-shaped sunglasses or any kind of sunglasses, you might wanna sketch them in now. Um, then we are going to begin drawing the lines to create the different sections on that pineapple fruit. So I do kind of a diagonal curved line like this one way and then I go diagonal the other way almost like you're making a checkerboard now I don't want to stop here because not only does it have that kind of squared checkerboard texture all over but it also has spikes so I add a little upside down V in every single square. I'm doing this with a brown crayon. You can do it with an orange crayon, brown or black. It doesn't matter, whatever you prefer, because pineapples come in all, even green, if you want to do one that's not quite ripe. So I have created a grid and did all my spikes. Now I'm going to begin um, on the spiky greenery at the top of the pineapple. So what I do is I do a curved line to one side, and then bring it down. A curved side to the other, bring it down. Curved line, bring it down. Curved line, bring it down. And I'm gonna let it go right off the page. Now I'm gonna add some lines for the texture of those spiky leaves. In each leaf that I drew, I'm gonna draw some dark green lines and then I'm gonna start coloring in some of those dark green lines. I like to make it a little darker green at the bottom, fading up to light green. Let's see, where's my lime green? Here it is, and I'll color the rest in lime green right over everything I just did. I like using both color greens because it gives a bit of a variety. I'm doing mine really quick, but I know you're going to take your time. Do neat and complete coloring. All right, there we have it. Now I like to add a little bit of shading on my pineapple to give it an illusion of form. So I'll take an orange and I might color in some of the bottom where that shadow might be on my pineapple just a little bit. And now I'm gonna grab my yellow. And I'm gonna go to town coloring over everything, even what I just shaded in. I'm 
right over all the spikes and everything. Maybe I'll add a little bit of light orange over top. I always like mixing my crayon colors. I always find it makes my piece look more interesting. So we're gonna have a really ripe pineapple. If you wanted it to look not ripe, you might add some lime green because pineapples are pretty green before they're ripe. All right, now we get to add our face. So this one, I'm gonna do a simple smile curved line across and an oval down and I'm going to press hard coloring that in to cover up all the color underneath with that black crayon and then I'm going to do two eyes on either side just like this so cute maybe I'll do little eyebrows too and my pineapple is done We've got all the spikes. We've got that grid sort of texture over the pineapple. We've got texture in our leaves. And uh, before you finish, I want you to write the word texture somewhere on your paper. It could be on the front or the back, you decide. Can't wait to see your texture pineapples.